Hey, demonstration starting. Another dog and pony show. Thank you for taking the time for this. I know you're all busy. I'm Susan Ritchie, computer analyst for ISC. ISC, yeah. It's Jerry, right? Uh-huh. Everyone tells me you're the fastest registrar we've got. Would you say that's accurate? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Great. So how long, Jerry, would it take you to, say, pull all the malignant tumor cases from the past year? Um. I don't know, maybe a, a few hours. We collate all malignant cases at this site. Oh, no, not just this site. All sites. Come. Take a seat. Okay. Thank you. Now, I know you're all painfully aware of our efforts with the DCHP and the automated tumor registry, version one. And version one. That's right. Version one. What you have in front of you here is version two. Just a few inputs allows you to search and gather data across multiple qualifiers, conditions, and locations. Go ahead. The VA electronic health record was actually the first that was developed. It's an electronic system that tracks all consults, all imaging, all alerts and phone calls from veterans, and that allows us to make sure that we follow up on abnormal labs so that we can provide the best care possible. It's a phenomenon we're seeing across the nation that primary care clinicians are burning out. The VA recognizes that and VA primary care clinicians are able to spend more time with their patients because of electronic health record automations. We're in a place where we really need as many of these automated options as possible to make our lives easier. It's a huge asset to being able to diagnose cancers early. One of my patients had been due for cancer screening for well over a year was actually able to determine that this test was due by the automated clinical reminder system. In 2021, I took a cancer screening test and my test came back positive. So I went and then did the procedure. I felt very relieved after that. I had a Kool-Aid smile the whole time I went home. I slept pretty good. The electronic system, I believe it's a very useful tool as far as keeping up with medical records. If you have a positive reaction to your test, they're gonna notify you. It can save your life. There is a void in the continuum of care. Individuals that needed to return for appointments and that follow-up just was not there. An electronic health record is kind of a fail-safe system that helps us ensure that if there's any information out there, it's in one location that we can find, we can use, that has really made a difference in the management of the patient's care and move them from you know health into wellness. Almost 5% of adults in the outpatient setting in the U.S. alone will have a misdiagnosis once a year. We've tried to understand the factors that are causing these missed and delayed diagnoses, and then trying to define what are the possible interventions. What our algorithm does is essentially uses some logic to try to identify patients from large data sets of electronic medical records the patients at risk of missed and delayed diagnosis. 
the patient, for instance, that may have had an abnormal test result, but has not been followed up, for instance, in 30 days. Research had shown that about a third of these patients who have cancer had test results that had not been followed up. That was the rationale for why we developed the algorithms, because then we could teach the algorithm to identify those patients more proactively and intervene to make sure they don't have a missed and delayed diagnosis of some kind. I love the fact that I'm able to return service to veterans who have served our country without question. We feel like it's a fulfillment of our mission in life. That phrase, leaving no man behind, is the same phrase that they practice here at the VA. And uh, that, that phrase goes a long way with a lot of veterans. The VA has had an impact on not just veterans' health care system, but also the nation's health care system and world. Mm -hmm.